Hello everyone, Joshua Gillespie here and welcome back to Muppet Monday. First, look at this awesome shirt I've got. Let's talk about the Muppet Show. Okay, let's take a look at episode 6 of the first season with guest star Jim Neighbors. The plot of the episode is we are finally introduced to Scooter. Well, I'm Scooter. Cute. Cute name. I'm your new gopher. Even though he was in previous episodes. He keeps getting on people's nerves, but they can't get mad at him because... Yeah, well, my uncle owns this theater. Uh, you start today, get me a cup of coffee, your salary is 20 a week. Now, this might sound similar to the plot from the Joel Grey episode where Fozzie is going around annoying everyone, but... This one is different because you don't really see Scooter most of the time. A character will just come up and be like, There was a young kid following me all around the theater. Yeah, I know. His name is Scooter. Cute. Cute name. So, I like it because of that aspect. So what do I like about this episode? Even though we had seen Scooter a couple times in earlier episodes, I still love this plot. And mostly because of this joke. Yeah, well, you don't understand. You see, I'm your new gopher. Yeah, I'll go for coffee. I'll go for sandwiches. I'll go for anything you need. <laughs> now, the second thing is a little different, but see, I live in North Carolina, so I'm used to, oh, you're from the South? You must be all higgity diggity, honey boo boo, whatever. <sighs> And I get a little tired of that. And in this episode, you know, they don't really portray Southern people that way. You know, we're not all idiots. We just talk funny. Put up your hands. Put up your hands. I beg pardon. Your hands. Put them up. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> What's that? Those are my hands. So it's nice that they don't make Jim act like he's stupid. Golly. Speaking of Jim, he has really good chemistry with the Muppets, especially Miss Piggy and Kermit. Hey, I, I was wondering, Jim, does being a Gemini give you any kind of problems? Well, it sure does, you know, because I'm, you know, I talk like this, but then I sing like this. Speaking of Kermit, you know, a lot of people like to see him as this guy who doesn't say anything negative, is always positive, always making people feel good, and, you know, he does do that, but back in the day, he could be a jerk. The trouble is, you see, he's following me all around and giving me these jokes for my act, and they are awful. Fozzie, how would you know? <laughs> how would I know, smarty frog? He's just, you know, kidding around with him. The man who thinks that Elton John is a singing bathroom. So this episode has a lot of enjoyable moments, but what don't I like? I wish Jim had had more interaction with the Muppets, like a panel discussion. I wish Gonzo and Jim Neighbors had a skit together. I just feel like Gonzo's weirdness and Jim's silliness would have blended perfectly. The only interaction you see between the two is right here. <sighs> oh well. Also, a lot of stuff was cut from this episode, including Jim's first song, Gone with the Wind. That's really the only complaint I have with the Season 1 DVD, is just how much of it is cut out. Thankfully, with YouTube, we can find all of these clips. But overall, even with a few things cut out, this is still a fantastic episode. A lot of fun. Golly, go and watch it. Highly recommend. Thank God I'm a country boy.